Hey there, and welcome back to Valley Por Vida. Now, La Unión de Pueblo Entero, otherwise known as LUPE, is an organization of over 8,000 members. And while many local leaders and volunteers spend their time and effort working toward transforming our RGB community there, and our team dropped by their location to learn just a little bit more about their recent missions. My name is Joaquin Garcia, and I'm the director here of organizing at LUPE. Um, I've, I've been in this position for almost five months. And um, Lupe started back in 1989 um, in, in California. Um, at some point, there was um, a couple of offices, Lupe offices in California, Arizona. Um, the one here in San Juan opened up in 2003. In fact, next year, we're gonna be celebrating our 20th anniversary here in the Rio Grande Valley. So we have a lot of events coming up next year. And Lupe came to be because um, being a sister organization of the United Farm Workers in California, uh, which focus a lot on, on farm workers' rights, um, they real, people back then realized that a lot of these families, farm worker families, um, also struggled in the communities where they lived. They lacked public light, drain, um, you know, drainage, sewage, um, access to, to clean water. So Lupe came to be because of those reasons. They wanted to be able to organize these communities in order to advocate for, for positive change for, for these families that were suffering, not only in the fields, but also in their home, in, in their households. And ever since then, here, here in Lupe in San Juan, we've been um, advocating for the communities. Um, so many victories have been won. Um, we now see a lot of the communities here in Hidalgo County, for example, being light up um, every year. Uh, a lot of drainage projects, uh, roads being paved, community cleanups, and that wouldn't be possible without our members, without our membership, and without having passionate employees that, or organizers and employees in, in, in general that um, care so much about um, our families and our members here in the Rio Grande Valley. Yeah, so here in the community organizing department, uh, we have organizers in Star, um, Hidalgo, and, um, and Cameron counties. And we go out there, we sometimes get calls from, from members that live in communities where you know, they're, they're facing a problem, for example, they flood every time it rains, or they've been living in the dark for, for years now, and they want change, they know that Lupe will be there for them. Um, one thing that, that um, I will highlight is a lot, of, a lot of people think that Lupe is uh, charity, like we don't do charity. Uh, we believe in the power of people. We believe that when they organize, um, they can accomplish so much. When they use their voices, um, those voices can be heard by those in, in power um, that have the, the privilege and, and the duty to, to change the, the way these people live. Uh, so we organize, we go to community, um, Commissioner's Court, we go to Austin, we go to Washington DC, wherever it's necessary to make sure that these elected officials realize that these people have needs. If you'd like to be featured on Valley Por Vida, please contact us. Please indeed contact us. We'd love to have you on the show. But for now, that's all we've got. Thanks again for hanging out with us and be sure to tune in again next time. We'll have plenty more fun to talk about. And don't forget to follow our team over on social media for exclusive behind the scenes sneak peeks that we've got coming up. And it's your chance to also interact with us. And as always, you can visit valleycentral.com to rewatch some of today's segments. We've got a lot more next time, like I said, on Valley Por Vida. We'll see you then.